Okay, um, I'm back out here. I'm going to work on uh, setting up to uh, sharpen end mills. Uh, I spent the morning moving uh, garden dirt. I had uh, about 20 yards of uh, garden dirt delivered uh, yesterday afternoon and then uh, I spent this morning moving it <clears throat> and now it's pretty warm outside so I figured I'd take a break. It's nice and cool in here and uh, figured I'd take a break and we'll get back to uh, setting up to sharpen some end mills. Uh, when I, uh, on the last video, I had said that I needed to set the finger at center height. That, that's not correct. Um, get over here if I can get at it. But I, you end up, you end up setting it so that the flute is level. So it's actually below center a little bit. Because it has to ride in underneath the, underneath the flute. But anyway, I will get my unit off the shelf over here. I got it strapped over on my um, press. And uh, well, before I do that, I want to move the ram out on the, on the mill because that's where it clamps. So basically, all I do is just move the ram out. And. Uh, Loosen up the two bolts. And then move it on out. And, I, and I, what I do is I move it out all the way. All the way to the end. Right to there. And I tighten it back up. Now the unit's gonna sit on that, on the dovetails on on the ram. I made it so that it clamps onto that. Move the table over. We'll be using this end. We'll be actually using this end of the table. Move my little rubber protector in the back. I might move that vice out of the way too. Down a little bit. If I didn't have stuff in the back, the shelf, and I could swing it around, I'd swing it around and use the tail end, and that way the headstock wouldn't be in the way. So now I'll get that, the unit off of the uh, press over here. It's nothing too complicated that I made. It, uh, it's pretty basic and straightforward. It's basically the spindle that I made. It has no end play on it and uh, bolted it to a piece of channel iron. On the back side of the channel iron I got a dovetail and then I have an aluminum spacer block here that goes in here like... I gotta get it the right way goes like this goes like this and that tightens up and and pinches the dovetail oh you didn't even see it right there goes like that so first thing I need to do is find get an Allen wrench this size uh, actually I can turn it by finger I think um, so we'll, I'll just hook it under the, do on the machine on the dovetail. I'm going to get you situated here so you can kind of see in underneath there. So you can kind of see what I'm doing underneath. Loosen this tripod, lower you down. There. How was that? There, now you can see the two dovetails here on the ram and basically all I do is I take this unit that I made hook that in there like that and then I slide this spacer block in there uh, 
bolts turned too far forward. Okay. And then that bolt tightens up and pinches it. So now it, it's, it's not going to fall out of there. And we'll tighten that bolt up. And that pinches on the ways on the ram. There we go. Solid as a rock. All right. The next thing we'd want to do is is uh, put the motor on here. Um, the motor, just one bolt puts, hooks on the backside bracket here, and then the belt goes down to the, the to the pulley to uh, spin that. So I will, and the motor's sitting over there too. So, and uh, I'll get the motor and we'll put that on there. And it's just a flat belt. And the pulley on the motor, believe it or not, it's just a, a hockey puck. <laughs> I bored a hole pre that kind of fits really tight on the shaft of the motor and uh, crowned it a little bit on the lathe and it basically that's what it is. It's a hockey puck and it seems to work pretty good. It's about, it's uh, bigger than the, because I geared it, basically I uh, increased the RPM of the wheel with it. So we just put this on the back side. This is a little tricky here to hold that there and then get the nut started. Okay. And I believe it's the same Allen wrench. And I where did I do? Put it away. It must have. This one, right? Yep. So I'm taking. And it's just the one bolt. It doesn't have to be real. It doesn't have to be really tight. And I just pull it up, put a little tension on the on the belt, and then tighten and tighten it up the rest of the way. Well, <laughs> the nuts moving on me. I'll try it again. There we go. I've never had it come loose once I tighten it up. It's always worked pretty good. I had a, a heater motor, a 12 volt uh, heater motor on that. It works for smaller angles if if you're just kind of touching them up and not having to do the secondary or anything, and you're just doing a primary, and it'll it it works fine. But if you're trying to do a secondary relief, it doesn't have enough oomph. Oh, and uh, plus, that motor that I have, I rigged up, a, I wired a reverse switch, so one way it runs one way, and the other way, you know, so I can reverse the motor. I've done that with all my tools that I've built, just taking the motor, and, and you can uh, wire them up to run opposite just by switching the two field wires around in there. You just switch yellow to, uh, it's two and four I think it is, switch the wire from number two to four and the wire from four to, to number two. But anyway, that's, I should be able to uh, plug it in here. Oh, I do have a, I do have a, uh, if I can remember where I put it, uh, power bar that I can turn the motor on and off without having to unplug it every time. Hmm. Just got to remember the last time I used it, did I put it over here with the motor and stuff? Yep, it's on the shelf. Ok, 
Okay, so it's just a it's just a power box so I can turn it on and off without having to unplug the motor every time. I actually clamped it to the table the last time that I used it. Oh, the right way. See now it's running that way. It's running counterclockwise. Now if I flip it the other way, turn it on. Now it's running the other way. And when I'm grinding the ends of the end mills, that's why I, why I did that so that I can flip the flip it around because of the the side that you're coming that I come in on uh, sharpening the ends. Um, I'm don't know if I'm well. Yeah, I do have some ends to do. So now we are going to oops, let's lay this over here for now, back there, and we're going to. Move the table over here. I don't know. Do I have you in the shot here? Or, oh yeah. So we went and we found a height of this. So we're gonna set that up. And what I do is I set it at just a slight angle to the wheel so that the actually the corner does a finishing. Of the uh, of it, so I only it, it's and I mean slight. It's like only a uh, half a degree or so. Move the table out because gotta go in here, so I can put some clamps on right here. And well, before I do that, we took the we took that. Uh, protractor and we scribed line on here on this side on this side right here we scribed the line and it's set at the primary angle that I want so what we need to do is we need to set this on the table and we want to make sure that the wheel is touching it right at that line so and then we just crank it up and down until we we get that so right now we're we're about three hundred thousands low, so we got to crank the table up about three hundred thousand. Let's see more. Boy, that's close right there. So that's where I'm going to start. I'm going to zero my my knee out. So now that height of that wheel is set, so that it'll put a uh, relief on that anvil, primary relief. So now we'll go over here. We'll set this up. And like I said, I want to be at a just a ever so slight of an angle to the wheel. Uh, I'll get another protractor here. And set it for half a degree off of 90. So you got to make sure I set it the right way. Okay. And then I'll just come off of the table here. Maybe. <laughs> so, yep, I did set it the wrong way. I gotta set it the other way. Half a degree. I don't want much, just half a degree. You set it too much, then you're just gonna knock the corner off of that, off your wheel, and it's not gonna. Okay, right there. So now I'm going to clamp that down. So I'll end up clamping this, clamping this down with a couple clamps. Oh, let me get back here. Uh. Oh, my tea nuts are missing from over there.
once you get this all set up and and then I just take and I sharpen all the dull end mills I got laying around so I don't have to set it up again for a while it's not that hard to to set it up once you do it a couple times and this is actually the third time that I've set it up I got a sliver uh, I need another T-nut and a clamp and step block I'll go over to my set over here on the MC mill Should have had this stuff over here and all ready to go, I know. <laughs> but I told you I was going to show you from start to finish. That's part of it, rounding up stuff, I guess. <laughs> uh, for our Pete's sakes, got her stuck underneath there. Gonna get a screwdriver or something to push the team through. Okay. Yeah, it's really hot outside right now, or warm, and uh, nice and cool in here, so. Put this down here. Just want to make sure I don't get in the way of things over here. Okay, I need a whoop. Need some washers too. Okay, where are the washers go? Okay, I'm getting there. I don't know if I'm going to grind any today, but we'll get it set up and ready for the next time I get some free time. I have fence yet that I have to go out and put back up where we uh, took fence down in the front yard to uh, get through with the tractor. I had to truck dump it on my driveway and then I took the tractor this morning and moved it around. It's our gar it's garden dirt that we used for filling in low spots and and in the garden and we always have a few yards of it sitting in a pile kind of handy to have around just getting myself a, a wrench here so I can tighten it up And move that I hope well I'll check it before I this stud is so tight there we go and get the protractor here and check it when I snug this one up Don't have to be real tight things. Just gotta hold it there while, well, because you're not putting a lot of pressure on anything. Hopefully. Yeah, we're a little more than what I want. I wanted. I need to take that end over a little bit. Ooh, not that far. 
No, the other way too far. That's good right there. Tighten up that back bolt here. Back clamp. And whoop.